Hey, what's up, welders? Welcome to episode number 63 of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul, and Adventures in Welding is brought to you by our friends at Eastwood. So today we're going to talk about taking the mystery out of something a lot of people talk about, and that is welding a thin material to a thick material. What I have here is a piece of quarter inch mild steel. It's been clean, shined up, ready to go. And what I have here is a piece of 70 thousandths uh, mild sheet metal, also cleaned up and ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to weld them together in a lap joint. And you should know by now, a lap joint is nothing more than a modified fillet weld. And a, lot of pla a place where a lot of people are having trouble is where do you set your amperage to weld this? Do you set your amperage for the mild sheet or the, uh, the thin sheet? Or do you set it for the thicker metal? Well, one way to do this, and I say one way because there are many ways. And I'm not saying my way is the only way. I'm not saying my way is the right way. I'm simply saying my way is one way to do it. And what the way I'm going to show you is to simply set your amperage for the thick metal. Keep your heat on the thick metal. Keep your puddle mainly on the thick piece and wash the puddle with the filler into the thinner piece of metal. And basically you're just catching that edge. When you do that, you'll tie everything together really nice and things will work out great. So I'm going to get my gear on and I'm going to show you how this works. First, I want to uh, talk about this pair of gloves that I picked up off of eBay less than a month ago. They're like $11.99. I'm going to mention any names here, but you can see what they look like. If you get on eBay, you can find them really easy. They are TIG, uh, TIG gloves, deer skin, and after less than a month, they have developed holes, and they've shed all over my jacket. So the $11.99 TIG gloves off of Amazon that are white with kind of a mustard-colored cuff and skid patch might want to avoid them. All right, I'm going to get my gear. And when we get back, we'll tack this up and we'll get it welded out. All right, you should be able to see pretty well there. I've tacked this piece up. We have the 70 thousandths on top of the quarter inch. And I use a basic uh, fusion tacking technique to put this together. So now we're going to I've got everything set up ready to go here. I've got a 16th inch... Uh, ER70S2 filler rod. I've got my torch set with a 332nd inch foriated tungsten ground to a point that's been flattened off. I've got my Eastwood TIG 200 set for a maximum of 140 amps. Probably going to be around 100 amps doing this, maybe even less. Uh, 0.2 second pre flow, 6 second post flow, DC, let's roll. Remember, I'm going to keep the heat. There's our completed weld. Not too bad looking. Nice and smooth. You can see we didn't tear up too much of the top edge here. The thin piece is laying flat. 
against the thicker piece. I would call that a success. So there's really no mystery in anything in welding. It's simply a matter of knowing the right technique and how to apply it. When welding thick to thin material or thin to thick, however you want to look at it, keep your heat on the thicker material and wash the puddle onto the thinner material. Keep your torch moving and you'll be rewarded with a nice looking weld. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and how about some shares, guys? Would you mind sharing this out there? Get the word out. Thanks. I'll see you next time. I will. I'll be looking for you right there in Georgia. I'm looking for you.